to start our chapel today in the name of our triune God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Time to sing the wash song. Ready? Got to wash, 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 wash your hands a lot. Doodle-loot, doodle-loot. Got to wash, 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 wash them on the spot. It is plain to see. No germs on you, no germs on me, because we wash, wash, wash our hands a lot. One more time. Got to wash, 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 wash your hands a lot. Doodle-loot, doodle-loot. Got to wash, 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 wash them on the spot. It is plain to see. No germs on you, no germs on me, because we wash, wash, wash our hands a lot. All right, good. Let's sing God Made Me. We'll sing it one time all the way through. Then we'll have a song fight and Tiffano singing. But one time through, everybody sings. God made me. God made me. In my Bible book it says that God made me. God loves me. God loves me. In my Bible book it says that God loves me. God helps me. God helps me. In my Bible book it says that God helps me. God keeps me. God keeps me. In my Bible book it says that God keeps me. All right, you did great. Now, the thing is, we learned that song so well, now we can have a game with it, play a game with it. It's called antiphonal singing. Antiphonal. Can you say that with me? Antiphonal. Boy, is your mommy going to be surprised when you say to her, I learned what antiphonal means. And she goes, what does that mean? It means singing against each other. Well, let's have antiphonal singing. Girls, boys will go first. God made me. Then girls, God made me. Then everybody sing. In my Bible book, it says that God made me. Okay? So boys first, then girls. Song fight. Boys, God made me. Girls, God made me. Everybody, in my Bible book it says that God made me. Boys, God loves me. Girls, God loves me. Everybody, in my Bible book it says that God loves me. Boys, God helps me. Girls, God helps me. Everybody, in my Bible book it says that God helps me. Boys, God keeps me. Girls, God keeps me. Everybody, in my Bible book, it says that God keeps me. All right, you are great antiphonal singers. Antiphonal song fight. I've got a portion of God's Word to share with you today. God's Word to us is the Bible, and oh my, this is what it says. In John chapter 1, verse 5, the light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. Oh, I can hardly see this. What's. Oh. What's different about me today? No, I did not get a haircut. No, I did not get a haircut. 
I didn't get a haircut. What's different about me today? Yes! Glasses! I misplaced my glasses. Where could they be? I need my glasses to see. I didn't know many wore glasses. They don't look like they fit very well on her. Wait a minute. Whose glasses are those? Yep. I'll take these, Miss Minnie Mouse. Ah, I can see. I can see. Well, most of you don't need glasses. Me? Oh yeah, there's a couple of you that need glasses. I got glasses when I was in, I think fourth grade is when I needed to get glasses. But I had some friends that had glasses in kindergarten too, yeah. And I, I like glasses, I think, I think glasses are cool. It's, it's okay if you don't need glasses too, but I like glasses. Glasses help you see. But every one of us needs help seeing when it's dark out. When it's dark, 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 dark out. When it's nighttime. You need a light. Did you see it? See it? You can make shadows. No, I, don't, I can't make shadows here. Light. You need to be able to see, and you need to have light. All right? Because if, if you don't have your glasses, and you need glasses, you're not going to see very much. But I don't care how good your eyes are. If you don't have light, you are not going to see anything. Well, the Bible says... Jesus is the light. Jesus is the light of men, a light of human beings. He shines in the darkness like your night lamp, your night light at home. Maybe in your bedroom you've got a little light on so that if you wake up in the middle of the night, you can see the light and you're not so scared. Or if you've got to go to the bathroom, you can find where the bathroom is because you got the night light on. Jesus is the light. He shows us the way. He shows us the way to get to heaven by believing in him. He shows us the way how to live a good life here on earth by loving Jesus with everything we have and loving our neighbors, loving each other as much as we love ourselves, uh, taking our turns, sharing, let others using what we have when we don't need it, okay? Light, without light, we're not gonna see. Well, unfortunately, there's somebody who doesn't want us to see. And that's the devil. He is God's enemy. He does not like Jesus. And because he's the enemy of God, he's the enemy of God's people. He does not like you at all. He does not like me at all. He is our enemy because he is God's enemy. And he does not want us to see the light of Jesus. It's like he, he turns out all the lights in the world so people can't see Jesus. He steals their glasses so they can't see straight. But that doesn't stop Jesus. Jesus came into this world like, like a flashlight or a big light on a hill so everybody could see. And the darkness, no matter how much the devil tried to fight against Jesus, he never won. 
he was beaten every single time. Now, there's lots of light outside today, isn't there? There's so much light out that, well, you could get a sunburn. You could get heat exhaustion. It's so bright out there. There's so much light. But when the nighttime comes, all that light goes away. It becomes dark. There's always light in our hearts because Jesus put his light there. His light is always shining so that whether it's daytime or nighttime, we know Jesus is God. Whether it's daytime or nighttime, we know Jesus loves us. Whether it's daytime or nighttime, we know Jesus made us and he's going to take care of us because he is strong and he can do anything. And we know Jesus has given us life. We believe in him and we are going to believe in him and live with him forever in heaven. Here on earth, I'm going to need these glasses, otherwise I'm not going to be able to read the Bible to you. So don't you take them again, Minnie. We're going to need light so we can see, but especially we need the light of Jesus in our hearts. We need to believe in Jesus so that we can always see that he is our Savior who loves us so. Let's sing Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died, heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sin, let this little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Let's sing it one more time. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gates to open wide. He will wash away my sin, let this little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. It's time for prayer, so let's Fold your hands, bow your heads, close your eyes, okay? Fold your hands, bow your heads, close your eyes, okay, everybody, okay, good. You listen to the words I'm saying, that makes my prayer your prayer. When I say amen, you can say amen. Here we go. Lord Jesus, we had a great first week at school. We learned so much. It was so much fun. We've got so many new friends. And thank you so much for a wonderful, wonderful week. Keep us all safe and sound over the weekend so that we can be back here again on Monday and learn all sorts of things again. We ask this for your namesake. 
Amen. I want to say goodbye to you the way the Lord wants me to say goodbye to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. I'll play some music. You can listen to it while you get your classrooms back together again. See you Monday.